dollars. Our next match is between Cesar Chandiga. He's a bit of a internet sensation from Uganda. Everyone has been begging that we show one of his matches. So, of course, we listened, and here he is. And he's up against the man in your picture now. They call him Phone. Zhang Shaijie from Myanmar. There he is. So here we go then, our second match of the day. The game is Chinese 8-ball, otherwise known as Hayball, of course. It's no call cool shot, so lucky shots are okay. It's alternate break. Four-point rule is in effect on the break, so you must make four points, and you do that by making a point for every single ball that you make on the break, and a point for every ball past the head string into the kitchen. Our referee checking nice and closely that those balls are nice and tight. And it will be phone breaking off in the first rack race to 13 with a two and a half hour time limit. If you do happen to dry break, you will get one point against your name, make three and you'll lose a rack. So here we go then. One passed. Two passed, three passed. Did he make any balls? Yes, he did. The break is good. Made one of those balls into the side. That's the ones they're trying to make. Almost made the 11 as well. That went mighty close. So 45 second shot clock. And one 30 second extension per rack. table has been cleaned after our first match which saw Lee Walker go through against South African Richard Halliday just a few little bits of fluff on the on the strawn 10 cloth of course played on these lovely joy tables Nine by four and a half, we see absolutely perfect shot there from phone. And pardon the pun, he looks dialed in right from the start. Although he's from Myanmar, he does live in China. I believe he's ranked number eight in China. So this man can certainly play. Great shot he's played there. And he's really nicely onto this three ball into the corner. What kind of an angle has he got? Can maybe just drag it through. Hold it for the one ball. Leave himself some kind of angle to get onto the two. So just drop this in. Oh, he's slightly the wrong side of this. So might have to come between the 12 and the 14, the pink and the green stripes. Leave himself a little bit further away from the two ball. So just find that gap between the 14 and the 12. Oh, he's actually caught the 12. That's okay. He's going to have to 
Oh, he's playing a lot of drag shots, isn't he? He's going to have to drag this one in as well to hold for the eight into the same corner pocket. Come out firing on all cylinders, hasn't he? Good stuff here. Early on. From phone mint. And in it goes. The perfect start. From one of the favourites for this tournament. He just has to be. A nice break and run to begin his campaign in this last 128. Double elimination. And that man sat on your left there. Cesar Chandiga, quite a character. I was actually coming down in the elevator with him. Not today, but one of his previous matches. And it was about 10 past 12. And his match started at the same time as this one, actually. In one of the qualifiers. And I said, oh, when are you playing? He said, oh, 12.30. So I said, how are you getting to the arena? He said, oh, by, I'm going by the bus. I said, you've missed the bus. That left at 11.30. I said, come on, we'll get a taxi. And I booked a taxi and we travelled to the venue together. Lovely guy. Loves his pull. Let's see what he's got. One down. Caught him a little bit thin. Good spread on the balls. And the solids look favourites to me. I wonder will he play this three ball off of the four? Super talented guy. Been looking forward to this one. He's opened up both balls, but the four's gone just a little bit awkward. I was just talking to Gareth Potts before this. He's doing his crazy drills that he does in up in the practice room on the third floor. And he was telling me a little bit about the guy at the table now. Said he's strong favourite to win this particular match and the way he started I don't think I can argue with that here we see the grip I actually don't like to call it a grip because it's more of a cradle I don't really want to grip the cue tight played a beautiful shot there look at the top spin and I have to confess it's the first time I've seen this guy play. My first time in China. Yeah, probably going to play the five ball. combo always have to be careful though when you're playing these combos you don't want to push a ball safe so it's very important that he gets on the right side while taking this five ball into the top right hand corner it's the seven I apologize Beautifully played. Mm. 
four ball is the problem. He's got to be careful here. He's going to lose the one ball slightly. Needs to come off the underside of the one as we look. Which means it's going to go up towards where he's standing now. Or is he looking at playing the four now? Oh, this is super aggressive, but I guess it's the right shot really. If he wants to finish it off here. No, just caught that near rail. And as soon as you catch that rail, they will not drop. Quite the opposite to American Paul. You'd be aiming to hit that side rail first. Slide in, but not on a Chinese eight ball table. No joy on the joy for phone on that occasion so a chance then for Caesar not a good one I must admit but at least he's back at the table yeah play to make the four ball and then hook his opponent behind that wall of balls. Unfortunately, missed the carom. But that 13 ball going where it's gone has kind of made the one ball interesting. No problem making the six. It's all about the one ball. Whenever you're playing a combo, you're controlling three balls, of course. Now he's going to play this with pace and trust to luck a little bit, maybe. Oh, he's played it beautifully. What a shot. Had the perfect angle, didn't he? Just a little bit more work to do, though. This is a little bit thin. be able to hold it stay this side and he's gone up and down well he's scratched can you believe that I don't think he can oh that's really surprising maybe caught it a little bit thinner or thicker than he maybe wanted anyway Surprise he's not playing the 13 here to be honest. Is he just playing a safety? Hook him in behind the 13. Oh, he's played both. What a great shot. Opened up the 13 as well. Nice shot, Caesar. comes from Uganda and there's a few players here from the African nation very quiet lad gets on with his business it'd be great to steal this one wouldn't it how costly will that scratch be for phone? Yeah, 
break is good. Four points made, just holds up the hand, made a lucky ball in the side, didn't make the ball he was trying to make. You watch the 10 ball gets kicked in by the six. And made three balls past that head string. Table still open though until another ball is made. I think he was kind of thinking he might have caught the eight and the two there. All he's done is pushed the five ball into a more awkward position. Three ball goes in the side past the four as you can see just saw from our camera angle so it could go three ball one ball that's what he's looking at now wants it to run it has I think he's got an angle. I think he was looking a little bit disappointed with that, but I think he's okay. Just below center on the cue ball. Probably play for the four or the seven. Now, does that two go into this bottom right hand corner? It may do. saw him earlier on just looking where he wanted to get on that five ball looking at taking the seven now always oh, got to be flexible well if he's a little bit straighter on that two ball maybe may possibly leave himself an angle off of this five ball to go into it oh he's drawn into it now great shot but problems not over just yet he's gonna thinly snick this two ball i think into the bottom right hand corner or is it no, up and down needs to miss Needs to catch this just right, this seven ball. Very close to that two ball, look at that. Oh, you need steady hand like a surgeon. Now, what about this? Cannon into the pink 12. makes this it's over oh he's over hit oh he's okay slid it in caught it beautifully what a great shot that is Gareth Potts warned me about this guy said he's one of the favorites Might need that again. Referee moves in to take it. He says, I'll have one more shot with it, please. So this eight ball for a three rack lead. Yeah, nicely done. A couple of little tricky shots there. Four one it is.
was the shot there, wasn't it? The key to that rack. That nice little cannon he played into the eight and the two. Looking very comfortable. Three break and runs. Caesar coming to the table already on one illegal break. Just to make sure he makes his four points. Obviously, it just puts more pressure on the next break. Alternate break, of course. Now, made both of the wing balls into the side. Nice, beautiful break. But where's the cue ball? Well, straight into the corner pocket. Off of the side rail, just maybe a little bit too much left hand spin on the cue ball. For those of you new to eight ball, after the break, it's not ball in hand. You must put ball behind the line and play up table. Stripes looking very nice, aren't they? Oh, he played a lot of inside spin on that ball. Lots of left hand spin. Almost caught the 10 and made it a lot more difficult. Glad I'm not cleaning that table after this match. little angle come down short side if he over hits it there you see he's going to play into an area here where he's guaranteed to have a shot on one or both of those stripes stun down between the four and the rail Played it much better, could he? It's looking strong. Has to be a little bit careful here. He's gone, if anything, a little bit close. And he wants to run the cue ball through. Doesn't want to catch the eight. Doesn't want to go anywhere near the eight and tie that up. No, he's okay. Can he just drop this in and hold for the side? Yes, he can. Good stuff here. See the way he stayed down on that. Waited till the ball was in the hole before he moved anything. Looking very, very strong in mint condition. back 5-1 then Caesars fans and believe me there are a lot of them they've all been flooding social media asking to get him on the main table we listened but he's not enjoying the experience just yet as I'm sure his fans aren't this man's fans are very happy
didn't make the balls in the side and it could be his first illegal break as well yeah a little grimace there on the face of phone almost made the three in the side but not enough action going on yeah there it is confirmation illegal break for the Myanmarian well who would be a referee she could be a surgeon with dexterity like that Open table, the choice is yours, Caesar. Well, that was a bit careless, to be honest. Suffering at the moment. Doesn't have too much table time. He's had his chances, though. A couple of mistakes from the man at the table. But he hasn't capitalised on them just yet. hour and 47 minutes left in this match but I don't think the time's going to come into this particular fixture and that orange five is the perfect key boy just come around to see if it is it will go will it go in the side does it pass the 10 ball into this bottom right? I think it might. Looking to flick off the edge of the eight ball here from the five. And there you see, working out which way do I want to go. Oh, that tells me that the eight ball is in fact on. So he didn't need to move it. We do have a, a break, a player timeout after nine racks. So if you are behind, it's a chance to go out, splash a bit of water on your face and give yourself a good talking to in the mirror. Giorgio coming back against Quinton Bongas 4-4 there now liveqq.com is the website to go to if you want to check out any of the matches felt just a little bit short on this six ball a little bit of work to do to get on the three yeah, that's where he wanted to be. I'm interested to see where he's going to play this eight ball. Tells me it does pass the 10 ball. So 
So this eight ball to inflict a little bit more pain on the man from Uganda. In it goes. It's six one. Didn't capitalise, missed a relatively easy combo into the side. The rack is tight. Waiting for this young man to come and break the balls. Yeah, maybe just a little bit short of power there it's a fine balance isn't it between trying to hit them hard enough and staying with the accuracy that 13 ball went so close to the side lots to th so it was illegal phone asks the referee to re-rack them again and I'm guessing he will break the balls this time all the players you see now already guaranteed $1,400 enjoy kindly on a free hotel for all the players as well and as soon as you booked your flight that was your entry so to speak into the tournament and every player you see from now on guaranteed a minimum of fourteen hundred dollars makes the one in the side it's another ball in the corner. Plenty of balls across the head string. It's getting hot in that kitchen. Referee comes in to whip the rack away. That was a song in a musical, wasn't it? Whip rack away, whip, whip rack away, whip rack away. Was it chitty chitty bang bang? Might have been seven brides for seven brothers. Come on guys, let me know. I'm not too up on my film knowledge. Nick Giorgio from being 4-2 down has come back. He leads 5-4 now against Quinton Pongas. And Liam Highfield is in high gear. He's 8-1 ahead now. Against Malaysian Edmund Bonglip. That's what you call a close-up of a butt. The butt of the cue of this man at the table. Not too heavy on the grip. Oh, he's in free flow mode now, isn't he? Almost like exhibition style. 
Doesn't want to get too carried away. I was recently commentating on Jeffrey DeLuna and he was playing a young lady in a tournament in Thailand and the race was 8-3 and he was 6-0 up and he tried to play a bit of an exhibition shot on a 7 ball he missed it and lost the next two racks and all of a sudden she was on the hill And in the end, it went hill hill. Jeffrey ended up hooking himself on the eight ball. Or missing, sorry, missing the eight ball. Hooked his opponent. She got out of it, made it, and made a terrific nine. As the saying goes, the balls never forgive you, never disrespect them. This man isn't. Very deliberate break. Wing ball straight in the side. Three balls across. Knows that's four points. So who's your favourite guys? Who's going to lift that trophy and a big bag containing $700,000? Do you remember the pictures last year? U-boat walking out of the arena. Wow, well, he's missed that completely. And that's going to be a foul. It's no rail. Not sure he'd be laughing if he was six one down, seven one down even. Each match at this stage race to thirteen with a time cap of two hours thirty minutes. mentioned Liam Highfield a little while ago he's going well 8-1 up at the moment other snooker players here also including 2015 world champion Stuart Bingham oh he's overcut that he's just lost his way at the moment maybe the pressure just getting to him he knows lots of fans are watching him have tuned in to watch their hero Williams will also arrive. Graham Dot is here. 2006 world champion, I believe he was. Played that a little bit casually, I thought. Lots of English eight ball players as well. Here from the ultimate pool world, Jack Whelan, he's in town, Jordan Shepherd, Sheppy, Chris Melling, the magician as well, he's in town, had breakfast with him this morning. Never seen a man eat so much. Mick Hill, of course, another player from the English eight ball scene. He's dabbled in nine ball as well. He was reminding me actually of the time he beat Chris Mellin. Nine three, wasn't it, Mick? All those boys will be in action. Overhit 
it slightly. He's having a little bit of a tough time of it at the moment. No shot, so he's going to have to tuck in behind the five ball here. Oh, he hasn't hit that hard enough. I think this nine ball is on in the side, and there you see it is. Fisher has gone 4 3 behind to Narantuya from Mongolia. Lots of Mongolian players here. Very, very strong presence from those. David Lilly, another snooker player, has gone 6 5 behind Chu Yuwa. Stuart Petman, who was in the top 32 of the snooker world back in the 90s. He's just gone 5-4 up over Filipino Paiue. Silky Stuart, they call him. Silky Smooth Stuart. lovely stroke this guy's got you can see why people are talking about him being a contender playing some great stuff here he has made a few mistakes though see he's feeling very very his opponent is missing still has to be careful though we know one shot can change a rack and a match so we're going to 